So today we'll be going over the concept of torque, otherwise known as moment. And we'll also be going over something known as the couple moment. And I'll show you how these concepts are used when it comes to analyzing these stationary objects or systems. So whenever we have a force acting on a body and it causes that body to have a tendency to rotate, this is what's known as torque, otherwise also called as a moment. So mathematically, um, torque is equal to, or in this case, the moment with respect to some point O here is equal to the force times the distance that's perpendicular to this force. This is what's known as the torque, or in this case, I'll be referring to as the moment. So here's the equation you're going to be using. So a very common example of this is utilizing a wrench. So here we have a wrench. Basically, we're going to be turning this bolt here and a force is going to be applied at the end of this wrench here. Let's call it F. So the torque in this case is F times your distance D here. But keep in mind, this D has to be perpendicular to the line of action of this force. The line of action is the where the force is being directed or what axis it's being directed on. And in this case, you could refer to this as the y-axis, for instance. And the perpendicular distance to the reference point in this case would be this bolt here. We could call this point O if we wanted to. So the moment with respect to point O is equal to the force times the the distance that's perpendicular to this force being applied to this wrench. So let's go ahead and do a problem. So let's continue on with that wrench example. In this case, we have a wrench where somebody is applying a force F of 500 newtons here at a certain angle, in this case 30 degrees with respect to the wrench, and the distance from this force to the point O, in this case where the boat is going to be rotating along, it's about 2.5 meters. So now the question here is what exactly is the moment caused um, what is the moment with respect to point O here so now this is where you have to be a little bit careful in this case the force is at an angle is at an angle as opposed to the first example where I showed you it was straight um, vertical in this case is at angle 30 degrees so there's two ways you could actually go about doing this because remember the moment at point O the moment with respect to point O is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance from the force to the reference point in this case O. So one way we could go about doing this since we have the distance here 2.5 meters well this force at 30 degree angles is not perpendicular to this distance D 2.5 meters. So one thing is we could actually split this force up into its X and Y component. So we have the Y component and we have the X component here. So it's nothing more than trig and solving for the X and Y components and see what kind of moments each one has. And in this case, we already know the, the vertical component of this force, the Y component, is going to be perpendicular to this distance, right? It's going to be um, 90 degree angle here. So the Y component of this force is equal to the 500 newtons times sine 30, which essentially is 250 newtons. Now let's go ahead and do the X component. The X component of this force is 433 newtons. So let's go ahead and solve for the moment with respect to O. So in this case, we have the force in the Y direction times your perpendicular distance with respect to that force. And so in this case, the distance that's perpendicular to this force is D, which is 2.5 meters. So our moment here is 625 newtons meters. Now we do also have a X component of this force. Let me go ahead and draw it at the end of this wrench. So this is F of X, which is 433 newtons. But remember, the torque is a force that makes the body of the object 
tend to rotate. If you were to basically have a wrench on a bolt and just pull it, you're not going to rotate that bolt no matter how um, hard you pull on it. So this force won't cause any moment. So the only moment, the only force causing a moment will be the force with respect to the Y direction. And our moment with respect to point O is 625 Newton meters. Now, here's another way you could solve this exact same problem. So same exact problem, we have 2.5 meters from this point O here in the center of this bolt um, where the force is being applied at 30, degrees ang 30 degree angle, 500 newtons. So another way here is to actually draw a triangle with respect to the force here. So let's extend it a little bit more and then from this point, Let's draw a line from here to point O such that it's at a right angle. From here, this is a right triangle. And essentially, we have the hypotenuse here. We have the angle and the distance that's perpendicular to this force acting on the wrench. This is, let's call it D prime. So. This is D equals 2.5 meters. D prime is the perpendicular distance. Let me put that perpendicular sign here with respect to the force. So the other way you could solve it is the moment with respect to point O is equal to the force times that perpendicular distance D prime here. So there are many ways to solve for this, but let's go ahead and solve it. So D prime here essentially is so your d prime is equal to d times sine theta. This is nothing more than trig. So we have theta in this case 30 degrees. Now let's go ahead and solve for this. What's the length here? We get 1.25 meters. And this is what we're going to be using for our distance. So it's 500 newtons times 1.25 meters is equal to 625 newton meters so you see how we end up getting the same result as the first method um that's there are many different ways to solve for it in this case um one method may be more convenient for you um i would say choose whatever method is less confusing or um or whatever method you find to to be the easiest for you to solve in which way. So let's go ahead and do another example to show you this same concept. So now for this example, we have this structure or beam with this specified geometry. Now we have the dimensions from the wall here to the first bending point, which is four feet. And then we have a 45 degree angle drop of that beam that goes for three feet. And the force is being applied um, is 600 pounds which is a foot from the right hand side now the question here is what is the moment that this force causes uh, with respect to point o in this case so now the first thing is we know the force right off the bat right because it's given the problem statement now the question here is what is the distance that is perpendicular to this force to the point o here which is our reference point well we have the we have the necessary dimensions here we have that the the force is about a foot from the right hand side but the question is we could actually draw the line of action of that force you keep on going up keep on drawing it and we see that the perpendicular distance would be the four feet plus this some unknown distance d here so four feet plus d would be that perpendicular distance with respect to this force here remember the perpendicular distance um is with respect to the line of action of the force so you could actually draw this or all the way up all the way down and try to find that distance that's perpendicular to this force to the reference point point Oh, so with practice, this gets a little bit easier to identify that distance. But in this case, we're we should solve for D, add that to our four feet, and that would be our perpendicular distance to solve for the the moment itself. 
So right here we have part of a triangle. Let me go ahead and draw it on the left hand side just so it could be easier to see. So here is our right triangle. We see that this distance here is three feet, which is what I'm drawing here in the structure itself, three feet. And we have this 600 pound force being applied somewhere here, but we know with respect to the, the right side that it's about a distance of one foot here. We know that this is 45 degrees. Since this is 90, this means that this angle is also 45 degrees here. So now we should solve for the total length here where the force is. So we have one foot plus this unknown distance D here. So we need to solve for the, the D portion. So since we know the length of the hypotenuse here, we just do a simple cosine and solve for the total distance here. So the total footage of the bottom side of this triangle is 2.121 feet. Now what D is equal to this total footage minus this one feet, right? One foot. So D must equal to 1.121 feet. So now that we have D, we add it to the four feet over here, and that's our perpendicular distance. So our perpendicular distance is 4 plus 1.121, which gives us 5.121 feet. And our moment is, so our moment with respect to point O is 3,073 pound foot. So this is our moment. So now on to moment of a couple, otherwise referred to as a couple moment. It's nothing more than having two equal but opposite forces that, essentially turn an object, right, a moment or a torque. And a very simple example would be turning a wheel. So let's say this wheel is a steering wheel, perhaps. And whenever you have two hands on both sides, one hand is basically pushing this um, steering wheel down and the other one is essentially is pushing it up. So one of them is pushing, the other one is pulling, but of course these forces in magnitude, they're the same, but of course they're opposite to each other because one of them is going upwards in the positive direction, the other one's going downwards in the negative. So when you're, so when you do the sum of forces with respect to the Y axis, the forces cancel out because they're equal and opposite. But when it comes to moments here, this is, it causes a moment which basically causes the steering wheel to rotate and that is exactly what the couple moment is is when there's two equal and opposite forces which cause rotation of a body which causes that moment so let's do an example problem here so for this problem then when we have a twist of four newton meters is applied to the handle of the screwdriver so this is the screwdriver here and it's asking us to resolve this couple moment into a pair of couple forces F exerted on the handle and P exerted on the blade. So in this case, we have the blade here and we're doing a, a flathead screwdriver, right? And the handle here is 30 millimeters distance and we have a moment being four newtons meters. So let's write that down. So our moment is four newtons meters and it's asking us to resolve this couple moment into its forces that we're exerting on. So in this case, the screwdriver is being turned by a hand, but in this case, it's two forces are equal and opposite to each other. So if, if you could kind of see it this way, um, on the top here, we have a force going this way, and on the bottom, we have a force going the opposite way. They're equal and opposite, which is causing this screwdriver to turn. So we're supposed to resolve, we're supposed to solve what this force is. And at this end where we have the, the flat head, we're supposed to solve for the P, which are the forces P here that is basically one is going this way, the other one's going the opposite. They're equal and opposite, which basically 
is causing this screw to turn, to rotate. And the distance between these two forces, P here is five millimeters. So the first step here is to write down the formula of the moment. So the moment equals to the, the force times the distance between those two forces that are equal and opposite. So let's look at the let's look at the moment with respect to the the handle portion of this. So we're we're gonna solve for the f. So so the moment is equal to force times d. We saw for f, which essentially is equal to the moment divided by d. In this case, since we're dealing with Newton's meters, we're going to convert the d, which is 30 millimeters, into meters. So our moment is 4 Newton's meters, and our d is 0.03 meters. So our force is... 133 newtons is the force exerted on the handle one on this side the other one on this side so for a couple moments the d is the distance between these two equal and opposite forces the same goes for p so our p is equal to the moment and since the moment is the same right when you're looking at the handle or where you're looking at the screw itself the moment stays constant so in this case moment divided by d the distance between the forces p here is five millimeters so four newton meter divided by 0 0.005 meters converted to meters to cancel out the the units and just be left with newton and the p is 800 newtons these are the forces that cause that moment of four newtons meters. And so hopefully you guys have a better idea of torques or moments and how to solve them when it comes to analyzing certain systems as well as the moment of a couple or a couple moment. Hopefully now you have a better idea of what they are.